Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's class, okay, we are going to be dealing with what now? Set theory using what now? Formula what now? Method, okay? Now, here, if you are given three subsets, A, comma, B, and C, of A, universal set, this is symbol for universal set. What is the meaning of universal set class? Universal set means what now? All the set, okay? Total of all the subsets that we are given okay so what is the formula based on what we have here we want to solve questions on that set theory using what now formula method okay so here we are given three subsets so the formula says number of the universal set equals number of a plus number of b plus number of c minus number of a and b minus number of a and c minus number of b and c plus number of a and b and c okay this is the second formula number of universal set okay equals number of a plus number of b plus number of c minus number of a and b minus number of a and c minus number of b and c plus number of a and b and c plus number of a prime intersection b prime intersection c prime so which implies we can have two formulas on that word now formula method in set theory okay now the choice of this formula to be used class will depend on the data that we are given in the question okay i repeat the choice of this formula to be used to solve a particular question will depend on the data that we extract out from the word now from the question. Let's take this question for example. In a school of 90 word now students, it means the total set, okay, number of all the students in that school is 90. So we write number, are you with me? Number of what now are you? Let me write it so you can get it clearly. Okay, number of our u equals to what now? 90, okay? For the take mathematics, number of mathematics equals to what class? 40. Let's take physics. Number of physics equals to what class? 30. Are you with me? So I'm trying to work now to list all the data supply in this question out first before... I will now determine which formula to use, okay? Now, 25, take a Greek. Number of a Greek equals to what class? Well, a Greek is what? 25. So we have 25 for a Greek, okay? What's the next one? 5, take mass and physics. Number of mass and physics is what? Is 5. Say we take mass and a big number of mass and a big is what is seven. Then three take physics and a big number of physics and a big equals to what now? Equals to what class? Equals to three. What are we now to find? Find the number of students that take all three subjects. This is a three bin diagram word analysis okay we have three what now three subsets three subsets so we have find the number of students that take all three subjects meaning number of maths intersection what now is this intersection what now a big is unknown now class let me ask us this beautiful question from all these data that are listed out M, P, A, M and P, M and A, P and A. We are now asked to find N and P and A. Which of these two formulas will be the most suitable formula to use to solve this question? The answer, obviously, will be the first one. Are you with me? So, after I've written the data out, before I can apply any of these formulas, I must write the given data out from the question so this will not be the one that will not direct me to which of the formulas to use okay so after we've done all these the formula we're going to apply to this 
is the first one. Now, so let's see. Number of what? Number of sets is what now? Of what? So we take this. So instead of using A, B, C, so we're now having what now? M, P, and what now? And A. Are you with me? I just follow this trend to solve this question. So number of inverse sets is what now? Is 90. So I'll put what here? 90 class. Are you with me? Okay, because so number of P, number of A, number of M, that would be what now? 40 plus number of B would be what our P here. Okay, that would be what now? 30. I see a plus. The third one, third one is what now? Is 25. I'm going to subtract combination of 2, 2. This thing is very easy. Okay, let me do analysis on this. I'll add the three pairs separately. 1, 2, 3. What's the next one? I'm going to subtract combination of 2, 2. You know, there are three. So it will get to form what now? Three combinations. For combination 1, combination 2, combination 3. After that, I'll now add everything. Are you with me? So I've added the first one separately, second one separately. Third one separately. I will now begin to subtract two by two. Are you with me now? So the first subtraction will be what now? M and P, that is five. What will be second subtraction class? M and A, that is seven. What will be third subtraction? P and A. Then I will now add plus. Let's assume this one is what now? It's X. Let's assume it is what? It's X. That's what I'm asked to find. So I will put what here? I will put X. Very easy. Okay? It's very simple. Once you can memorize what now? The formula. This thing will help us a lot. Once you know the formula on that set here, it will help us a lot. I'm serious. It will help us a lot. On the formula, just apply. If you have some questions, if you are using traditional method, the brain diagram, it will take what now? It will take seven, sometimes five minutes to solve this question. But this one, under some seconds, okay, you will get the what now, the result. So here, yeah, what do we have here? We have what, 90? Because 40 plus 30 give us what now? 70. 70 plus this will give us what now? 95, okay? 95 minus what now? Minus 5. That is what now? 90. This is 10, okay? So 90 minus 10 will give us what now? 80. So here we have what now? 80 is what now? Plus X. Are you with me now? So let us find X. So this one will come to this side. Our X will be equal to what? 90. That's what now? 80. So our X will give us what now? It was 10. And what is this X? This X is what now? Number of what? Of what class? Of M and P and A. That would be to what now? 10 meaning the student that take all the three subjects. Number is what is 10. Okay? Now you can pause the video class. Look at the way I've explained this. Okay, because I want to solve another question. So pause the video, take some notes under what I've explained here. Are you with me now? So permit me to wipe this thing up. And I will take another word now question. So I will leave this one here because this is the formula. I'll just take this one up, then we we'll solve the next word now question. Can I do that? Thank you. So here, yeah, let's wipe this one up. Let me wipe it off. I'm going to wipe this one up. Now look at this question that we're not given. We're given given the following. Question says, given the word now, given the following, given the following. Given the following, but given N A U B U C as as forty, but given number of A as what as ten, but given number of B as seventeen, but given number of C class as thirteen, but given number of what A and B as five, but given Number of A and C as 3, but given number of B and C as 2. Then we are given number of A prime interaction B prime interaction C prime as what well, class as 7. So we're now asked to find what to find number of A and B and C. So let's have this is what now the unknown. Let's put X here. Are you with me class? So now, from what I have here, from what I have here, what do you think would be the best what now formula to apply? The one that contains all these, this, 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 and you see, this is look at this, look at this, look at negation. So it will be the one that contains this. Are you with me now? The first question, I use this formula because it does not contain this. But in this second question, it contains this. So I'm using what now? The second word now formula. Do you understand this explanation? So let's solve this second one. Write this one up. Put this one up, put this one up, put this one up, 
Let me wipe this one up. Do you meet us? So let's go. Analysis. Again, look at this. Number of A union B union C is the universal state. You see, see the another dimension. See another dimension. Number of A union B union C is what now? Is the universal state. Okay? So this thing, A or B or C is the universal state. This is another way of writing what now? Universal what now? State. So I'll follow this format. Number of everything here is what is 40. So we'll put our 40 down, okay? 40 equals number of A is 10 plus plus. Number of B is 17 plus number of C is 13. What again? I'm not subtract minus 5, okay? Minus another combination, minus 3. Minus another combination, minus 2. What again, class? I'll add this, okay? I'll add this. So I'm adding these two. Look at it. I'm adding this one, okay? I'm adding this one first plus X. Which one again will I add? I'll add this. So and that's what I'm asked to find, okay? So I'll add plus what? Plus 7. Do we understand? So this is A and B and C is X. Then A prime is B prime and C prime is what? Is 7, which is this. Okay? It's very easy. So let me what? Let me add. So this will us 40. Because 17 plus this one will give us what now? 30. You see it? 30. 30 plus this one will give us what now? 40. Okay? 40 minus 5. That is what now? 35. 35 minus this 5. That is what now? 30. Okay? 30 plus 7, that will give us what now? 37. So we have S plus what now? 37. Okay? So our S will give us what now? 40. As what now? 37. Class. What is 40 minus 37? That will give us what now? That will give us what 3. Okay? Okay, look at this now. This is 17 plus this. This is 30. 40. 40 minus what now? 5. 35. 35 minus what now? 5. 30. 30 plus 7. 37. So we are very correct. Okay? So this is just what now? Solutions to set your using what now formula method class. If you've enjoyed this lecture, okay, and you want me to produce more amazing lectures like this, do me a favor. I am on a mission. The mission is to have 1,000 subscribers. Kindly click the red subscribe button below this video. And again, you can watch some of this set analysis. I'll put the what now the link below this video, okay. I have many videos on that word now, on that set theory. So you can watch them one after the word now, after the other. Okay? You enjoy them. Okay? You enjoy the videos one after the other using what now, set theory. So click the red subscribe button below this video. And you can share the video. Okay? You can share the video. Just click the red subscribe button to subscribe to, to my YouTube channel. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next class.